Hi there, it's Peter here and in this video I wanted to show you how you can make an electronic whiteboard for your YouTube videos in 2016. You might have seen one of Pat's articles where he describes how he creates his YouTube videos where he is animating when he's drawing on the screen while talking and explaining a few concepts and at the end of the article he is mentioning a couple of the tools but some of them are outdated so the tool he's recommending for creating his annotations is OmniDazzle. OmniDazzle is not supported anymore. So I tried to hound for the software for the tool and application in 2016 that we can use and do a similar concept. Okay, so here are three applications that might be useful for you as well. The first one is called Epic Pen, which looks pretty good and might be useful to some of you who are on PC because it's not on a Mac, I can't really test how it works, but looks like a playful little tool that might be useful for some of you PC users. So check it out, Epic Pen. The other tool I found is ink to go You can also trial this for 15 days. This tool gives you a little toolbar that you can put on the screen while you're recording, you can move it around so it doesn't stay away. You can take it outside of the recorded area as well. You can select the different colors. So let's say you want a green. That's how you highlight part of the screen. You can also erase it. There's also a shortcut that once you do your marking, you press Command and X and that deletes everything. So it's much more powerful than the previous tool, but it's also a premium one. So you have to pay 20 bucks to get the single license. And that's why I tried another tool, which is called Screen Link, and it's free. <laughs> and for the price, it's actually pretty good. So let's have a look what it can do. I know I said Screen Link, but it's actually screening. And what the tool does, it gives you this little toolbar. So when I zoom out, you'll see a little toolbar on the left. And as you can see, now I'm using the tool itself. So I can point to a different parts of the screen and the toolbar gives me a couple options. We've got a mouse. So when I click on the mouse, I can interact with all my applications on the screen as usual. But then clicking on the pen, I can highlight certain parts of the screen. And as you can see, it also makes the lines a little bit smoother. So you don't have to worry about bad drawings. Clearing the page is very easy. We just click on this little, oops. We just click on this little icon. Click on that, clears the page. Then we've got a highlighter. So this is different to the pen. This just highlights certain parts of the page. And then we've got lines. So you can create lines, point to a different parts of it. Okay, so line always ends up with a arrow. There is plenty of other options with a different kind of lines. As you can see, I'm going nuts here with different colors, different arrows, but hopefully you get the point how powerful this tool is. So I'm drawing all this on top of my existing screen. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's inside or outside of the screen flow, it just writes on top of my whole desktop. So when I zoom in just to my area that I work on, this is the area that I want to draw while recording my YouTube videos. And if you prefer to record and annotate a blank screen, you can select the preset colors or just pick any color from the screen and start writing drawing on a plain page. Hope that was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my future videos.